I think that one of the biggest concerns going into Star Wars Episode 9 has all to do with this movie having the most characters out of every single Star Wars film in history. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that we do know is, of course, J.J. Abrams is adding in a total of eight new characters into Episode 9. And a lot of people are concerned about this, including myself, on whether or not these eight new characters will take away the screen time of the main character like Kylo Ren, Rey, Luke, Leia, Lando, etc. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which has all to do with one of the new characters being implemented into this movie portrayed by Matt Smith. Specifically a description of Matt Smith's character codenamed Kato next to Kylo Ren in a large throne room like environment. Smith's character is described as wearing black robes with a hood over his head next to Kylo Ren. It's described that in his right hand he wields a lightsaber hilt that appears to be a single blade with the design of it being a mixture between both gold and silver. Another goes over both Kylo Ren and Kato back to back with ignited lightsabers. His lightsaber has a red blade and appears to be stable. They are surrounded by dozens of clan members ready to attack with their weapons. Lastly a description of Smith's character on the ground with an enemy running toward him with Smith's lightsaber, igniting and striking through the enemy on the ground. So what's really intriguing about all of this is that we do know that Matt Smith has a key role in this movie, and we do know that it's going to be a very important role for the character of Kylo Ren as well. So with Matt Smith here being described as a character that has an actual lightsaber in Episode 9, I think it tells us, and I think it's pretty sure, that he is indeed one of the few Knights of Ren that actually do have an actual lightsaber hilt in Episode 9. Now, when it comes to Star Wars as a whole, a lot of people are starting to believe that the Knights of Ren are indeed Luke Skywalker's ex-Jedi students, or his new generation of Jedi that were turned to the dark side of the Force under Kylo Ren's manipulation, hence which was all done through Supreme Leader Snoke. Now, I want to look at Matt Smith as a character. Now, we do know that there were a lot of rumors before in the past that he could very well be a young version of Emperor Palpatine and or a clone of Palpatine himself as one of the big twists in episode 9. I don't know if you guys remember that big rumor a couple of months ago. And a lot of people were very confused about that on if it would be a flashback or if it would actually be a cloned version of Palpatine. So this character portrayed by Matt Smith, codenamed, codenamed Kato, wielding a lightsaber. I don't know about you guys, but it sounds more like he's going to be a Knight of Ren in Star Wars Episode 9. It seems more likely that he is going to be a character like that in this movie. So when it comes to the character of Matt Smith, all right, that he is actually going to be portraying in the film, he's going to have a lot of scenes with Adam Driver. And we did hear this before, many months before, actually, in the past, that he would be filming scenes with Adam Driver with some of the extras dressed as the Knights of Ren here and there. However, this character is also described to have black robes. Now, I'm not quite sure if we saw a Knight of Ren with actual black robes, per se, like a Sith of some sort type of robes, in Star Wars Episode 7: The Force Awakens. I'll have to take another look. But in The Force Awakens, we do know that there are indeed six Knights of Ren, and two of which are going to be main actual cast members for Episode 9. So it's very likely that Kerry Russell and Matt Smith are playing the Knights of Ren, or at least two of them, in Star Wars Episode 9. So, I gotta say one thing here. Matt Smith, he's a good actor. I think he's a great actor. He pretty much is suited well for a movie like Star Wars, and we do know that J.J. Abrams has a history with him, and he brought him on board, and that's exactly why he's connected to Episode 9. So, with that being said, we do know that this movie is going to have a lot of characters affiliated with Kylo Ren and, of course, the First Order. You could certainly tell here that J.J. Abrams is very ambitious with this movie by adding in another character that will be wielding a lightsaber in this movie. And honestly, I think that's what's going to make Episode 9 very unique and more like a prequel-esque movie is because we're going to have more than two characters in this film that will be wielding an actual lightsaber in Episode 9 combined with other flashbacks and Luke Skywalker, etc. So that's one great thing to look forward to in this movie, is that it seems to be catered towards 
experience a lot of lightsaber sequences in Episode 9. Something that was not as big in The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens will be a bigger thing and a bigger focus in this movie by J.J. So I gotta say, when it comes to Matt Smith, I'm very excited to see what he has to offer in this movie. I believe he already wrapped shooting, or, or wrapped filming, I should say, for this film not too long ago. Uh, we do know that Dominic Monaghan's character is actually a part of the first, second, and a little bit of the third acts of this movie. So he's going to have a good role in this film. There's a lot of hints out there, by the way, that Monaghan's role is associated with the Resistance and the Allies of Episode 9. So we'll have to look forward to that as well. Because Dominic Monaghan, he too is a great actor and another actor that I'm looking forward to seeing in this movie. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.